This is H-113 troubleshooting DC motor circuits and here you see a picture of the DC motor board connected to the power board from the starter kit H-111A. This completes the circuit. If I turn the switch on, the ignition switch on, the motor begins to turn. You can't necessarily see it, but you can certainly feel the air moving up as the motor does what it's supposed to do. Now this happens to be a brushless DC motor, whereas in the old days they used wire wound motors and uh, this new technology uh, of brushless motors has many applications in the automotive and truck industry. For one thing they'll use these motors, brushless motors, to uh, provide engine cooling fans and in some cases they even now have brushless DC motor fuel pumps and a number of other things. Uh, extra cooling fans in the engine compartment will be these brushless DC motors and they'll use some of these inside the passenger compartment to move air around a little bit. They're very efficient, very lightweight, and very durable. Last a long time. And so we decided to uh, introduce this brushless DC motor. Uh, you know, everything we did with the starter kit and the lamp circuit applies directly into this brushless DC motor circuit. And uh, we'll do some measurements and so on, but first let me I uh, mentioned a couple of things about the workbook here. Uh, this page is discussing how computers will directly control these brushless DC motors. Because they're very efficient, they require a lot less current than the wire wound motors. Yeah, it's feasible and cost effective to put the driver transistor inside a control unit and to uh, control the motor directly with computer circuits, whereas in previous days you couldn't do that with a wire wound motor. They took too much current and the transistors weren't big enough, strong enough to handle that current. But that's all changed now with the brushless DC motor and advances in computer control. It's not unlikely to see one of these brushless DC motors uh, controlled by a computer.